Hello guys, welcome back. This is Kehis for After Effects Tutorial Channel, and there is another very exciting tutorial: how to create a 3D camera tracking for the visual effects scene for your live action footage. First, go to Adobe After Effects, create a new project, and if you want to work on video you must select the new composition from footage then you must select your video there is the video scene which is I want to work at VFX on this place or this location so select the video layer and go to window workspace go to motion tracking because I want to track the camera movement then select the track camera and wait a few seconds so there is a lot of camera tracking points so you must select that point which is here from the start of video to end I think this point is looking good so select the point and right click create one null object and camera here is null object and camera track play now that is the null object so right here 3d track change the color white and move here and don't forget press S scale down the size parent web to track no so sorry cancel move the text here just turn on the 3d switch play now the 3d camera track mean is like this so let's continue for the VFX scene go to composition save frame as file to desktop replace and render ok go to Photoshop and go to open select the PSD file and press ctrl O I wanna add this UFO object go to quick selection positive selection select the all of these UFO object like this and don't forget right click add one pixel feather press ctrl c copy and paste move the UFO here so now select the polygon selection delete everything is looking good delete and zoom out so select the background and select the lasso select this place and press ctrl plus j and move the layer top of the other layers and don't forget select the eraser tool make max so now go to file save a copy png ufo save press ok go back to after effects and go to project double click import that png and press s scale down the size and set the ufo where was the location right click transform fed to comp heroes so 
move the anchor point to the null object point and parent web to track null object sorry cancel the parent web just turn on the 3d switch play now here is select again the image and right click fed to comp turn off the 3d select again and um, turn on the 3d move by arrow keys on keyboard here is okay play now looking surrealistic so now time to add more details like um, landscape cracks like a uh, smoke double click you must have the package of the action is in shields plugins action is in shield 2 double click here is the texture cracks the best cracks looking realistic is this one double click press s scale down the size press t down the pasty this place is looking good and press shift plus on keyboard change the mode like this and turn on the 3d so move a little bit forward and zoom in select the paint tool make a little bit mask like this here is and now press n change to invert it here is the cracks must be front of the UFO okay double click and let's add some smoke here is the smoke right click open test and how about this one and how about this one let's check this one no move the smoke here zoom in so don't forget let's mask this places turn on again and press M M N change to invert it and make a little bit fader a little bit fader like this and don't forget turn on the 3d switch so select the smoke move a little bit forward and double click let's add smoke charge let's check this one or this one double click turn on the 3d and play select a little bit forward and move here press s scale down the size move here scale down the size move here and 
Let's zoom. Select the pen tool. Turn off. Turn on again and press MM. Invert it a little bit further. Double click. Let's add some sparks. What is a sparks in reality? These kind of effects is calling sparks. Double click. Turn on the 3D and press S, scale down the size and move forward and press Ctrl, slowly scale down the size, move to these places and play now. So select all, close the layers and right click create a new adjustment layer and fit and control S don't forget save the project change the workspace to effects and go to effects and presets first right here curves double click for the color correction little bit dark and select the red little bit down select the green little bit down Here is the blue down and right click, uh, sorry, go back to effects right here, the color balance, effect double click or drop to adjustment layer, go to blue, change to 10, here is and Create another new solid, maybe dark solid, little bit dark. Press OK and go to ellipse, double click, select subtract MMM, make a feather like this. Ctrl Shift Y for the solid setting and make a little bit more darker. Press OK and create another alpha solid 100% dark right here scope and turn on the rulers title action save area and go back to rectangle start from this point to end off this scope line and make invert scope looking more cinematic Visual effects fill. See, turn off again the title action save area and let's check the result. Play now. And this footage is without VFX. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. See you next time.